Ivan is 14. For nine months he lived in the Russian occupation in his native village Chernobyevka in the Kherson region. He and his family hid from shelling in the basement and were wounded. Russian invaders arranged torture chambers in the village. Local residents were interrogated and beaten there. Once Ivan and his friend were also captured. I was screaming, trying to get out, but there were a lot of soldiers. They put a bag over my head, and that was it. It was terrible. The first time they beat me. Once in the head, in the back, in the legs, I don't know. They beat my friend Valentin. They beat him on the head. I started screaming, he was unconscious. Then they locked us up. We came back about 30-40 minutes later. Valentin only came to when they poured water over him. Now the boy, along with other children from the frontline territories, is undergoing rehabilitation in Kamenets Podilsky. Unfortunately, the story of Ivan is not the only one. We have documented a number of crimes against children, including a wide range of sexual violence. We have documented violations of the rights of children in homes for neglected children. There is information about the transfer of children from Ukraine to the Russian Federation. They are still there. Yasmin Kajumhur, member of the United Nations Commission of Inquiry of Ukraine, in an interview with Radio Liberty. Several cases of sexual abuse of children by the Russian military have been documented. Criminal proceedings have already been opened for each of them and an investigation is underway. There are many more real cases, human rights activists say. How many episodes of sexual violence against our children are actually occurring, unfortunately we don't know. Because the topic is very sensitive, painful, especially if we are talking about teenage children. They don't report that happened to them. A child can reveal himself or herself after a long period of time. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, 459 children have been killed as a result of shelling by the Russian army. Another 917 were wounded. These are the official figures. There is no reliable information from the territories occupied by the Russian army. The actions of the Russian army in Ukraine have all the signs of genocide, lawyers stated. The illegal deportation is one of these signs. According to the commissioner of the president of Ukraine for children's rights, Russian occupiers removed about 14,000 Ukrainian children from the territories occupied by the army of the federation. Именно в отношении детей российской стороной. There was special decision taken by Russian side of the level of Putin in the context of their forces transfer from the group of Ukrainians to the group of Russians. In other words, the so-called facilitated procedure for issuing the citizenship of the Ukrainian children who have been displaced from the occupied territories. And we are absolutely aware of the fact that children are being handing out Russian citizenship against their will. The Kremlin, having unleashed a war in Ukraine, robbed Ukrainian children of their right to a happy childhood, a safe life and an education. Russia has deprived many of their homes, parents, relatives, friends, health and even lives. Reported by Salhikulas, Vlada Surkan, UATV News.